Why, hello, fellow Americans. I hope you have voted today. And uh, today's requirement is top ten lists. And I made three of them because I didn't think one would cut it. So let's just get started then. Okay. Um, first one. I did top ten colors. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. Looked up all the names of colors. Anyway, we'll start at number ten. Coquelicot. It's orange. Beats me. I don't know. I don't think it's like this orange, but it's it's orange. Next one, number nine. Xanadu. Commonly said after grass, yes. It's like a Xanada. 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 But uh, it's like a blue-gray color. Anyway. Uh, number eight. Morden's Red 19. There aren't 18 other ones. There's just Morden's Red 19. <laughs> uh, number four. Seven. Number seven. Tangelo. Uh, yeah. It's a... Uh, orange. It's another orange color. Hmm. Does your Tangelo... Does it wobble to the flow? Tied in a knot, can you tie it in a bow? Number six, hooker's green. Naughty, naughty, hooker's green. Number five, screaming green. Probably saw hooker's green and was get terrified. Number four, fuzzy wuzzy. Not only a bear, but a color. It's like a hazy pink. How awesome. Uh, number three, fandango. Like, it's purple. Purple color, yeah. But uh, it kind of reminded me of uh, Will Ferrell on Elf. He's like, Francisco, Francisco, Fandango. Fan. Uh, number two. Getting to the best one. Hold on, coming up. Okay, number two. I summed up in just one big it's a bunch of colors. It's the dark colors. All the colors that went to the dark side. There's literally like a billion dark colors I found it amusing the most terrifying one I thought was uh, dark Byzantium it scared me and number one <clears throat> drum roll please the number one it's awesome yes awesome the color is awesome it's red with a slight pink hue. Awesome. Yay. One down. Wow, that actually took a really long time. Three minutes. Okay, I better hurry. Okay. Next one was top ten gift ideas. I'll try to zip through these because I still have one more left. Number ten. Personalized bobblehead. Yeah. Uh, number nine. A self-inking stamp. Says crap. I thought it cool. Number eight, a personalized fat head for your living room wall. What's more cool than seeing a huge picture of yourself on a wall? Not much. Unless a huge mirror, then it kind of does the same thing. Anyway. Number seven, a mosquito-free hammock. Made of high-quality materials with exceptional comfort for the ultimate pest-free hammock experience. Yes. It's even significantly larger than a double-sized bed. So you know what that means. Uh, number six fits with number seven. Bedroom bucks. Spice up your love life with these handy bucks. Uh, number five. A boyfriend body pillow. It's soft, comfort comfortable, won't make crude remarks, and never gets gassy. Awesome. Number four. A flavored oxygen bar. Can you imagine your friends sitting around a table and sipping some oxygen? Well, now you can. Uh, number three, Pickle of the Month Club. Yeah. It features unique, hard-to-find pickles from small, regional, and international gourmet producers. Uh, number two, Segway. Because Segways are awesome. Number one, drum roll. A beer holster. For your beer. If you drink beer. It's perfect for husbands. Actually, I found it in, like, for the men's section. Yeah. I couldn't find a whole lot of gifts for girls because I went to the women's section. It was basically just a bunch of lingerie. I was like, oh, that's not really. Yeah. 
Anyway, okay, now for the last one. Oh, I got a text message. Check that later. Okay. Uh, this one's a pretty cool one. I didn't make this one, but um, it's the top ten YouTube fails. So I'll start. I'll start at the top. They're actually really funny. I I laughed a lot. Uh, number ten, the ski jump fail. Somebody like goes off this ramp and just <laughs> goes straight into a snowdrift. It's really funny. Uh, number nine is border patrol fail. Some cop pulls over this minivan. And also, just Mexican after Mexican just starts flying out, and this cop's trying to catch them. And as he's running after the other ones, a bunch more Mexicans come out and start running around. Not that I'm being racist or anything, but it was really funny. Uh, number eight, driving test fail. This kid, like, oh, shoot. Oh, well. I'll go over six minutes. Um, he, like, does just a terrible driving job, and all of his instruction instructors just start flipping out on him. It's hilarious. I don't pay me enough. They don't pay me enough. It was funny. Yeah. Number seven. Law enforcement fail. Like, a cop uh, takes somebody's marijuana and arrests them, and then he takes that marijuana home and bakes marijuana brownies with his wife, and then <laughs> they think they're dying, so they call 911 and report themselves. It was really funny. Uh, number six. Slingshot fails. Some kid just gets hit with a slingshot. It's kind of stupid. I don't like that one. Uh, number five was catapult fail. I couldn't watch it because it wasn't working. It says this video is removed because its content, its content violates YouTube's terms of service. Uh -oh. Number four, car wash fail. The person like lets go of the car wash spray thing. It just goes flying everywhere and just starts whacking them. It's really funny. Uh, number three, parking fail. <laughs> some some uh, teenager cannot park for like five minutes. He just keeps trying to park into this spot. And so finally some guy gets out of his car, goes, opens the, her door, tells her to get out, <laughs> drives, parks it, walks out, and just gets back into his car. It's hilarious. Um, yeah, number two, summertime fails. It just had a bunch of people failing at things. I didn't think it should have been number two, but yeah. And number one, drum roll, <clears throat> the one you've all been waiting for, Ben Steckity on his Monday videos of Seven Days of Real.